The 2019 Philippine general election shall be on May 13, 2019. It shall be a midterm election, where the winners will take office on June 30, 2019, midway the term of President Rodrigo Duterte. The following positions are expected to be contested. 12 seats in the Senate of the Philippines. All seats in the House of Representatives of the Philippines. All regional elected positions in the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM. If electorate approves for the creation of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, the regional election for the ARMM won't be done on this day. All provincial level elected positions in the provinces of the Philippines All city level elected positions in the cities of the Philippines all municipal level elected positions in the municipalities of the Philippines under the local government code and the 1987 constitution, all terms start on June 30, 2019, and end on June 30, 2022, except for elected senators, whose terms shall end on June 30, 2025. The Commission on Elections will administer the election. Preparation Date of the election the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines states that unless otherwise provided by law, the election of members of Congress is on every second Monday of May. According to Republic Act No. 7166, election for national, provincial, city and municipal elections are on the second Monday of May, since 1992, and every three years thereafter, with the President and Vice President being elected in six-year intervals. It has been three years since the last general election of 2016, and with no law cancelling the election, this means that the election shall be held on Monday, May 13, 2019. The Commission confirmed the day of the election day of May 13 when it released the calendar for the election. The important days are Filing of candidacies and nominations for party list representatives, October 11-12, and October 15-17, 2018 Campaign period For Senate and party list elections, February 12 to May 11, 2019 For district congressional and local elections, March 30 to May 11, 2019 Substitution of candidates, November 30 to 12 p.m. of May 13, 2019 Election silence, April 18 to 19 and May 12 to 13, 2019 Election Day, May 13, 2019 Deadline of filing of expenses, June 12, 2019 Equipment The Commission on Elections made a decision on February 1, 2018 to purchase vote counting machines VCM, which were used in the 2016 presidential election for a price of 2.122 billion pesos for the 2019 midterm elections. Commission on Elections Membership On October 17, 2017, the House of Representatives impeached Commission on Elections Chairman Andres D. Bautista due to allegations of manipulation of the 2016 vice presidential election in favor of Lenny Robredo. Hours earlier, Bautista announced his resignation effective December 31. President Duterte accepted Bautista. S. resignation effective immediately, on October 23. Duterte then appointed Sheriff Abbas as new chairman. In November 2017, the Commission on Appointments confirmed Duterte's appointment of Abbas as chairman on May 24, 2018. Abbas is expected to head the Commission on the 2019 elections. At the confirmation hearing, Abbas defended the Commission s purchase of the vote counting machines, saying that it was purchased at one-third of the cost. The Commission later confirmed Duterte's appointment of Socorro Inting as Commissioner on May 30. Duterte appointed Marlon S. Cascaeo as Commissioner in June 2018. He also appointed Under Secretary of Justice Antonio Co. as Commissioner in July 2018, completing the Commission's seven seats. Proposed cancellation 
Due to the drive to change the constitution to make the Philippines a federation, Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez said in January 2018 that the cancellation of the 2019 elections is possible, as a transition government would be needed. Later, the president disapproved of canceling the election, by July, after the consultative committee submitted their draft constitution to the president and Congress, Alvarez proposed to cancel the 2019 election so that Congress can concentrate in revising the constitution. Senate President Tito Sato said that this is possible by Congress passing a law for the cancellation of the election. Members of the consultative committee, on the other hand, prefer holding the election. Aquilino Pimentel Jr. said that. I suggest elections will continue, because people suspect that we are proposing federalism so that the elections can be postponed. It is not true, not at all. Later that month, Senator Panfilo Laxon said that most senators, including those who are running for re-election, will block any moves by the lower house to cancel the election. This comes as Alvarez switched his preferred mode of amending the Constitution via a people. S initiative. Franklin Drilone earlier said that the minority bloc will sue if Alvarez's plan of canceling the election pushes through, with the ouster of Alvarez by Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as Speaker in July 2018. The latter said that she prefers for the elections to push through. Results Congress the 18th Congress of the Philippines shall comprise the winners of this election, together with the winning candidates in the 2016 Senate election. Senate 12 seats in the Senate, are those seats that were first disputed in 1995, and were last up in 2013, will be up for election. House of Representatives All seats in the House of Representatives will be up for election. Currently, 60 party list seats will also be disputed. Autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao The positions of Governor and Vice-Governor of the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM, and all 24 seats in the ARMM Regional Legislative Assembly shall be up for election. With the signing into law of the Bangsamoro Organic Law, a plebiscite will be held for approval of the people. If the plebiscite passes, an election for the Bangsamoro Regional Parliament would be held, instead. The Parliament will then elect the Chief Minister, or Head of Government, and the Wali, or the Chief Executive or Regional Head. Local All totals as of the first quarter of 2018 all 81 provincial governors and vice-governors, and all regular members of all of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan shall be up for election. All 145 city mayors and vice mayors, and all regular members of all of the Sangguniang Panlungsod shall be up for election. All 1,489 municipal mayors and vice mayors, and all regular members of all of the Sangguniang Bayan shall be up for election. The ex officio members of the local legislatures, who have been elected after the 2018 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabatan elections, shall serve until 2020. References